In mathematics, the Peter Weyl theorem is a basic result in the theory of harmonic analysis, applying to topological groups that are compact, but are not necessarily abelian. It was initially proved by Hermann Weyl, with his student Fritz Peter, in the setting of a compact topological group G Peter and Weyl 1927. The theorem is a collection of results generalizing the significant facts about the decomposition of the regular representation of any finite group, as discovered by Ferdinand Georg Frobenius and Isai Schur. The theorem has three parts. The first part states that the matrix coefficients of irreducible representations of G are dense in the space C G of continuous complex valued functions on G, and thus also in the space L2 G of square integrable functions. The second part asserts the complete reducibility of unitary representations of G. The third part then asserts that the regular representation of G on L2 G decomposes as the direct sum of all irreducible unitary representations. Moreover, the matrix coefficients of the irreducible unitary representations form an orthonormal basis of L2 G. In the case that G is the group of unit complex numbers, this last result is simply a standard result from Fourier series. Topic: <laughs> Matrix coefficients. A matrix coefficient of the group G is a complex valued function phi on G given as the composition phi equals L pi displaystyle var phi equals L circ pi where pi g g l v is a finite dimensional continuous group representation of g and l is a linear functional on the vector space of endomorphisms of v eg trace which contains g l v as an open subset matrix coefficients are continuous since representations are by definition continuous and linear functionals on finite dimensional spaces are also continuous the first part of the peter weyl theorem asserts bump 2004 section 4.1 nap 1986 theorem 1 1.12 peter weyl theorem part 1 the set of matrix coefficients of G is dense in the space of continuous complex functions C G on G, equipped with the uniform norm. This first result resembles the stone weierstrass theorem in that it indicates the density of a set of functions in the space of all continuous functions, subject only to an algebraic characterization. In fact, the matrix coefficients of tensor product form a unital algebra invariant under complex conjugation because the product of two matrix coefficients is a matrix coefficient of the tensor product representation, and the complex conjugate is a matrix coefficient of the dual representation. Hence the theorem follows directly from the stone weierstrass theorem if the matrix coefficients separate points, which is obvious if G is a matrix group Nap 1986, p. 17. Conversely, it is a consequence of the theorem that any compact Lie group is isomorphic to a matrix group Nap 1986, theorem 1.15. A corollary of this result is that the matrix coefficients of G are dense in L2 G. Topic: <laughs> Decomposition of a unitary representation. 
The second part of the theorem gives the existence of a decomposition of a unitary representation of G into finite dimensional representations. Now, intuitively groups were conceived as rotations on geometric objects, so it is only natural to study representations which essentially arise from continuous actions on Hilbert spaces. For those who were first introduced to dual groups consisting of characters which are the continuous homomorphisms into the circle group, this approach is similar except that the circle group is ultimately generalized to the group of unitary operators on a given Hilbert space. Let G be a topological group and H a complex Hilbert space. A continuous action, G times HH, gives rise to a continuous map ρ, GHH functions from H to H with the strong topology defined by, ρ G v equals G v. This map is clearly an homomorphism from G into G L H. The homeomorphic automorphisms of H conversely, given such a map, we can uniquely recover the action in the obvious way. Thus we define the representations of G on a Hilbert space H to be those group homomorphisms, ρ, which arise from continuous actions of G on H. We say that a representation ρ is unitary if ρ is a unitary operator for all G in G, i.e. G V G W equals v w display style langle gv gw wrangle equals langle v w wrangle for all v w element of h ie it is unitary if rho gu h Notice how this generalizes the special case of the one-dimensional Hilbert space, where U C is just the circle group. Given these definitions, we can state the second part of the Peter Whale theorem, Knapp, 1986, Theorem 1 1.12. Peter Whale theorem, Part 2. Let ρ be a unitary representation of a compact group G on a complex Hilbert space H then H splits into an orthogonal direct sum of irreducible finite dimensional unitary representations of G. <laughs> Decomposition of square integrable functions To state the third and final part of the theorem, there is a natural Hilbert space over G consisting of square integrable functions L 2 G L 2 G. This makes sense because Haar measure exists on G. The group G has a unitary representation rho on L two G display style L carrot two G given by acting on the left via Rho H F G equals F H minus one G display style row H F G equals F H carrot minus one G. The final statement of the Peter Whale theorem, Nap, 1986, Theorem 1 1.12, gives an explicit orthonormal basis of L two G. Display style L carrot two G. Roughly, it asserts that the matrix coefficients for G, suitably renormalized, are an orthonormal basis of L two G. 
in particular L two G display style L caret two G decomposes into an orthogonal direct sum of all the irreducible unitary representations, in which the multiplicity of each irreducible representation is equal to its degree that is, the dimension of the underlying space of the representation. Thus L 2 G equals Pi element of sigma e pi dim e pi display style l caret two g equals underset pi in sigma wide hat big O plus e underscore pi caret O plus dim e underscore pi where sigma denotes the set of isomorphism classes of irreducible unitary representations of G, and the summation denotes the closure of the direct sum of the total spaces E π of the representations π. We may also regard L 2 G as a representation of the direct product group G times G display style G times G with the two factors acting by translation on the left and the right respectively fix a representation pi e pi Display style pi e underscore pi of g display style g the space of matrix coefficients for the representation may be identified with e n d e pi Display style mathrm end e underscore pi. The space of linear maps of e pi. Display style e underscore pi to itself. The natural left and right action of g times g. Display style g times g on the matrix coefficients corresponds to the action on e n d e pi display style mathrm end e underscore pi given by g h a equals pi g a pi h minus 1 display style g h c d o t a equals pi g a pi h caret minus 1 then we may decompose l 2 g display style l caret 2 g as unitary representation of g times g display style g times g in the form l 2 g equals carrot pi element of sigma e pi e pi 
Display style L carrot two G equals underset Pi in Sigma wide hat big O plus E underscore Pi O times E underscore Pi carrot asterisk Finally, we may form an orthonormal basis for L two G display style L carrot two G as follows. Suppose that a representative pi is chosen for each isomorphism class of irreducible unitary representation, and denote the collection of all such pi by sigma. Let u i j pi display style script style u underscore i j caret pi be the matrix coefficients of pi in an orthonormal basis. In other words, u i j pi g equals pi g e i e j Display style u underscore i j caret pi g equals langle pi g e underscore i e underscore j wrangle. For each g element of g, finally, let d pi be the degree of the representation pi. The theorem now asserts that the set of functions d pi u i j pi pi element of sigma 1 i j d pi Display style left sqrt d caret pi u underscore i j caret pi mid pi in sigma one l e q i j l e q d caret pi right is an orthonormal basis of l two g display style l caret two g Topic: Restriction to class functions. A function f style f on G is called a class function if f h g h minus one equals F G display style F H G H caret minus one equals F G for all G display style G and H display style H in G the space of class functions forms a closed subspace of L two G display style L carrot two G and therefore a Hilbert space in its own right. Within the space of matrix coefficients for a fixed representation Pi display style Pi is the character Chi Pi display style chi underscore pi of pi display style pi defined by chi pi g equals t r a c E pi 
G Display style chi underscore pi G equals mathem trace pi G. In the notation above, the character is the sum of the diagonal matrix coefficients chi pi equals i equals one d pi u i i pi Display style chi underscore pi equals sum underscore i equals one carrot d carrot pi u underscore e carrot pi. An important consequence of the preceding result is the following theorem: the characters of the irreducible representations of G form an orthonormal basis for the space of square integrable class functions on G. This result plays an important part in Weyl's classification of the representations of a connected compact Lie group. Topic: An example. S one display style S caret one. A simple but helpful example is the case of the group of complex numbers of magnitude one. G equals S one display style G equals S caret one. In this case, the irreducible representations are one-dimensional and given by pi n e i theta equals e i n theta. Display style pi underscore n e caret i theta equals e caret in theta. There is then a single matrix coefficient for each representation. The function u n e i theta equals e i n Theta display style u underscore n e caret i theta equals e caret in theta. The last part of the Peter Weyl theorem then asserts in this case that these functions form an orthonormal basis for L two s one. Display style l caret two s caret one. In this case, the theorem is simply a standard result from the theory of Fourier series. For any compact group G, we can regard the decomposition of l two G. Display style l caret two G. In terms of matrix coefficients as a generalization of the theory of Fourier series. Indeed, this decomposition is often referred to as a Fourier series. Topic an example, SU we use the standard representation of the group SU as SU equals alpha minus beta beta alpha, alpha, beta element of C, alpha, 2 plus, beta, 2 equals 1, display style mathem SU equals left begin P matrix alpha and overline beta beta and overline alpha end p matrix alpha beta in math b c alpha caret 2 plus beta caret 2 equals 1 right tilde thus su 2 is represented as the 3 sphere s3 display style s caret 3 sitting inside c2 equals r 4 
Display style Math B C carrot two equals Math B R carrot four. The irreducible representations of SU two, meanwhile, are labeled by a non negative integer M style M and can be realized as the natural action of SU two on the space of homogeneous polynomials of degree M style M in two complex variables. The matrix coefficients of the M style M TH representation are hyperspherical harmonics of degree M style M that is, the restrictions to S three display style S caret three of homogeneous harmonic polynomials of degree M display style M in alpha display style alpha and beta display style beta the key to verifying this claim is to compute that for any two complex numbers z 1 display style z underscore 1 and z 2 display style z underscore 2 the function alpha beta Z one alpha plus Z two beta M display style alpha beta mapsto Z underscore one alpha plus Z underscore two beta carrot M is harmonic as a function of alpha beta element of c 2 equals r 4 display style alpha beta in math b c caret 2 equals math b r caret 4 in this case finding an orthonormal basis for l 2 S U two equals L two S three Displaced tile L carrot two Mathem Su two equals L carrot two S carrot three Consisting of matrix coefficients amounts to finding an orthonormal basis consisting of hyperspherical harmonics, which is a standard construction in analysis on spheres. Topic: Consequences. Topic. Representation theory of connected compact Lie groups The Peter Weyl theorem specifically the assertion that the characters form an orthonormal basis for the space of square integrable class functions plays a key role in the classification of the irreducible representations of a connected compact Lie group. The argument also depends on the Weyl integral formula for class functions and the Weyl character formula. An outline of the argument may be found here. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Linearity of compact Lie groups. One important consequence of the Peter Weyl theorem is the following: 
theorem, every compact Lie group has a faithful finite dimensional representation and is therefore isomorphic to a closed subgroup of G L N C display style mathrm g l n math b c for some n display style n topic structure of compact topological groups From the Peter Weyl theorem, one can deduce a significant general structure theorem. Let G be a compact topological group, which we assume Hausdorff. For any finite dimensional G invariant subspace V in L2, G, where G acts on the left, we consider the image of G in GL. -V. It is closed, since G is compact, and a subgroup of the Lie group G L v. It follows by a theorem of Elie Carton that the image of G is a Lie group also. If we now take the limit in the sense of category theory over all such spaces V, we get a result about G, because G acts faithfully on L2 G, G is an inverse limit of Lie groups. It may of course not itself be a Lie group, it may for example be a profinite group. See also Pontryagin duality